I wasn't going to do this video, but especially because Rolly already did this video and I saw Rolly's video, which was actually how I found out about it because I don't actually follow Britaily, but I think it needs to be done. Hi guys, it's Talisha and today, as you saw by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about the whole Britaily situation with their new pony, Luna. Hmm. So, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I did a live stream and a lot of you guys who were in the live stream wanted to hear my side of this story. And I'll, I'm not going to bag the family out, I'm going to say the good and bad. Because I both, with parts of this situation I agree with, majority of it I don't, but yeah. And if you don't know what the Retailer situation is, I'm just going to put some clips in of what... I'm about to talk about. We have been working on getting Annie a horse and Haley a bunny for a while now. Horses, on the other hand, actually have to be like three years old before you can ride them. I didn't know that either. There's your horse. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is mine? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Surprise! You have to hold on to it. Hold on so you can raise the eye. There you go. Yeah, Miss Maria's been taking very good care of her. Break, <laughs> she's not broke yet. Like she's all yours. <laughs> Let her loose. Oh, no. Your turn. Get to work. Yeah, and your daddy. Well, she could call me, and I'm like, uh, yeah, you're crazy, but okay, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, Miss Maria's like, um. Oh, your turn. <laughs> green horse, green rider. <laughs> so yeah, you heard them. Yes, an unknowledgeable horse family bought their daughter who has done about three lessons on a horse, a green unbroken mare. When I first turned this video on, the first thing I heard her father say was, apparently horses can't be broken in until they're three, which I didn't know that, but apparently that's true. Horses on the other hand actually have to be like three years old before you can ride them. I didn't know that either. From this statement, you could clearly tell that they know nothing about horses because any no horsey person knows, or any knowledgeable horsey person knows, that horses get broken in at all different stages. A lot of horses aren't ready to be broken in at three. Some may be, some may be ready younger. However, this, just the statement alone, you know, and the fact that he didn't know that, like the fact that he obviously thought maybe they could be broken in earlier, or like, you know, you can get a horse and just break it in straight away. I don't know what he thought. Some horses can't be broken in until they're five or six. But, you know, this alone, I was like, oh god, it's gonna go downhill from here, isn't it? It's already started bad. So, I watched a few of the videos. I, you know, I don't follow them normally, so I wasn't very familiar with them. The deal was with the kids that when their channel reached 4 million subscribers, they had promised um, their daughters that they would buy them an animal that they wanted to have. One chose a horse, one chose a rabbit. <laughs> there were a lot of people that were saying how unfair it was that such a difference in price. But, you know, it's just what the daughters both chose. It's what they wanted. So, it's, you know, I don't have any problem with that. One wanted a bunny, one wanted a horse. It was her choice. She could have said she wanted a horse too, but she didn't. And it was lovely that, you know, they did that for their kids. Clearly, when they bought the horse, they did not go with a knowledgeable horse person. Because if they had gone to buy this horse with a knowledgeable horse person, that person would have straight up told them, no. You know, your daughter needs a horse that is like a schoolmaster. You know, can do everything, has been there, done that. Chill. And, you know, you won't have heaps of issues with. And, you know, the horse will be able to teach her things. Instead, they obviously went out and, you know, bought this horse. Maybe they bought it because it was cheaper. But, obviously, they didn't go with any knowledgeable horse person. And, you know, when they meet the horse, you watch the daughter give a carrot to Luna. You have to hold on to it. Hold on so you can raise the eye. There you go. Nice! <laughs> this little girl doesn't even know how to feed a horse a carrot correctly, let alone handle an unbroken three-year-old mare. Videos later on, they also show her being taught how to untack a horse. And then the nose band. That's called the nose band. And the same thing, you can hold it again. Hold yep. Mm -hmm. And how to brush a horse. She didn't even know the simple things of working with a horse. As well as that, they were showing clips of, the, of Luna being lunged by the trainer. And then, you know, the girl comes in and is being taught how to lunge. This 
girl didn't even know how to lunge a horse. Of course, she's a head throw rise. I don't blame her for not knowing that. She's still learning. I'm not blaming her for any of that. Just saying that it's probably not the perfect horse for her. They also show her riding. This is a school pony she's riding. She's learning how to canter. She can't keep the horse in the canter. You know, she's still learning her position. She didn't have a perfect position. Well, which I said before, I wouldn't expect her to. She's had three rides. She looked good for three rides to me. She looked great. But I have a lot of issues with this. But I'm going to talk about positives that I like. I like that they have a trainer working with this horse. So they have hired this trainer to train it. And I'm assuming they're going to get that trainer to break it in. I'm assuming. Before they actually showed her the horse that they bought it, they had had it with this trainer for quite a while. I think th they think they said it was about... A few months which is good you know they're doing the right thing along those lines however that's the only positive I have now I want to talk about the negatives Rawley also talked about this a lot of young girls go through the pony phase have you ever not met a young girl that didn't want like a pony every little girl has wanted a pony at some stage in their life especially at that age and majority of them get out of that phase and you know, after having three lessons, of course she's still going to be loving ponies and wanting to have a horse because she's had three lessons. But you know, if you start to do it more consistently, do it after a few years, she might get bored of it. Like any sport, the amount of sports I've done and you know, after a year or two later, I've gotten bored of it and stopped. I've done numerous sports and I grew out of all of them, apart from horse riding. The real test with horses is when you go through your teenage years. Especially with girls. That's the time where they start to socialise more, they start to go out and want to be more with your friends and start to put your friends first before horses and that's when they lose interest. Where I've always been putting my horses first and social life second. Yeah, if I was her parents, what I would have done is kept her in the lessons after a couple years, maybe a year or two, give her a lease horse. So she learns what it's like to own a horse but not actually own a horse. Lease the horse for about a year or two. Then maybe she's ready after four years of being involved in horses. I did my numbers wrong. After about four years, she's ready about owning her own horse. Even then, you wouldn't be getting her an unbroken horse. After four years of riding and leasing, you would still not get your daughter an unbroken horse. But instead, three lessons and it's an unbroken three-year-old mare. I keep stressing about the mare because mares are different to geldings. Three-year-old unbroken gelding is a lot different to a three-year-old unbroken mare. If you guys own mares or have done anything with mares, mares have a certain sass to them, mares go in heat, and then they get worse. Where geldings are typically, you know, give or take a few, typically more chill and not quite as sassy and a pain in the ass. <laughs> Gotta be straight up, I own a mare. I would have thought that, you know, even though they're not knowledgeable, on horses, I would have thought common sense would tell you to not buy an unbroken horse for your green rider. I would have thought that's just, you know, kind of known. I, I just don't understand what they were thinking when they bought that horse. I don't know how it's going to end. Like, not only is it silly, but it's dangerous. Say if this horse stays with this trainer, the trainer breaks it in and, you know, gets it going, gets it to a good stage, it's still not going to be experienced enough for a green rider. Because, you know, when you first break in a horse, they're still, they're not going to be perfect. You know, even if it's after it's broken for, you know, a month or so, it's still not going to be perfect. Especially when it's young. Considering this girl's still on a lunge line and doesn't know simple horsey things like brushing, tacking up, didn't know the names of, like, parts on the bridle and lunging. It's just, it's not... It's not a good idea. When the daughter goes in to meet the horse and she's in the stall with the pony and she's hugging it, there's this other horsey person who's in the stall, like, holding the halter, and, um, she goes to the parents, you're crazy. Green rider, green horse. Yeah, you're crazy, but, okay, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, Miss Bria's like, um... <laughs> Are you sure? Green horse, green rider, we'll make it work. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, maybe you should have told them that before. I'm sure she didn't know before that they were going to get that horse. I'm sure no one knew, because if that trainer knew, she was a decent trainer and that trainer knew that that's what they were planning on doing, she would have advised against it. The other thing, this family vlogs every day. So we see everything they do every single day. They don't leave anything out, but she doesn't seem to see her horse very often. Since me filming this, there's one other video after buying that horse that she's actually been seeing the horse. 
So I'm not saying maybe after I film this or before, like when this is posted, maybe there's another one up, but we're not even going out to see the horse very often. She's also not riding very often because they would put that in the video. I mean, that's all I really have to say. I don't agree with the situation as you guys can tell. I'm glad they've got it with the trainer. They could have done it a lot better. They could have waited so much longer. And I know it's because, oh, they promised that they would buy these kids their animals when they reached that 4 million, but they could have started giving her lessons way before they reached 4 million. You know, you see how fast you're approaching a number of subscribers. Oh, the last thing I actually feel about something. This girl's homeschooled. And from what I've heard, the reason she's homeschooled is because she doesn't have time for school. And she does gymnastics and schoolwork, like homeschool work. But she doesn't have time for, like, full-time school. I might be wrong. I'm not too into their family. But this is from what I've read and kind of seen from what I'm watching. She doesn't have time for school yet they buy her a horse, they're adding more to her time, which I guess as well is another reason why they're not seeing the horse very often. But a horse is going to take up so much more time than gymnastics or any sport would, which is another reason it's just ridiculous. I've never made like a rant video or like a video dissing. I wasn't really dissing, but like sharing my actual thoughts and something. And I don't really want my channel to turn into this, but I wasn't going to do this video for that reason. I don't want my channel to be like me ranting and complaining and saying things that I don't agree with because I don't want it to be that. You guys all wanted to see it, so here it is. Alright, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. Bye.